Hi Simmers, in this video we're going over how to install the Gradual Aging Mod. This is obviously a mod that involves aging, so that's pretty cool. I always tell you guys to read through the description regardless if we're installing on Curse Forge or not, okay? Um, it's just important so you actually know how the mod works and you make sure you're not missing anything that you need when installing this mod. Now, what you want to do is click on the recently updated version, which for us is only November 19th. You can click download here or you could choose to download in this top right corner either way it will make sure that it is installed the right version for you okay at this point it will be at the top right corner because I have Google Chrome but for anybody else your download link may be at the bottom just FYI so for all my people who have Windows go to the bottom of the screen and select file Explorer everyone who has Mac please click on finder double click on that downloads folder Mac as well all right, go back to the bottom of the screen, right click the File Explorer icon for my Windows users again, and for Mac users, yours will be Finder. Double click on the Documents folder for both users, double click the Electronic Arts, and then double click the Sims 4. Once you're here, you wanna double click the Mods, and we're gonna go ahead and unzip this gradual aging file. So we wanna right click and select Extract or Extract All, it just depends on what type of computer you have. For Mac users, you can double click and it literally will open in a blue folder. In the case that you guys don't have that pop up for whatever reason, that just means you have an extractor app installed. So all you have to do is just get the file that you use for the extractor app out of that file by copying and pasting it into your mods folder. Very, very, very simple, okay? So we'll click extract. At this point, you will see that in the gradual aging mod that there is another folder inside of this folder. So as I always tell you guys, do not put any mod in your mods folder that is too many folders deep. It is not going to work properly. So if you just go, boop, I'm done, then you're doing it wrong. What you want to do is you want to double click open the folder. Once the folder is open, then drag the folder that's inside of that folder into your mods folder. When you double click, this is what you should see. If you do not see that, you did it wrong. And rewind this video so you could do it the right way. Okay, okay. Now, once you're done with all that, you guys can feel free to delete the files in here if you want in your download folder. It's not that big of a deal. Make sure that you guys enable your game option settings. You will need your custom content and script for mods enabled. So please, please don't forget that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you're completely new, please check out the video on my channel on how to install your game option settings. All right, guys, if this was helpful, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys still need guidance, I do have simplicitysim.com. I have two eBooks on that website that can help you further along your education on mods, guys. All right, so check that out. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you sub, like the video, and tell me what you liked about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Sending you lots of love and light.